what age should you leave your parents' house? Um, well, all right, let, let, let me say first, yeah, you should have your own property or properties before you leave your parents' house. So, but yeah, you should be leaving your parents' house between, like, I say, like age 28 to 32. You know what I mean? But yeah, so yeah, man, late 20s, you know what I'm trying to say, early 30s, you should be looking to get the fuck out. Because it does look weird. When I go into tenants' houses and that, and the tenant is like a big woman like my mum's age, 50 something, yeah, mid 50s, whatever. And they're like, oh, yeah, um, you can go upstairs and test the sockets in the bedroom. My son's in there, but just knock the door or whatever in it. Or the, or the, the man might come downstairs. And I'll see a grown ass man, like a big man, still in his mum's yard. Like, like, like you got a teenager's looking room and I don't look right. It don't look right. Before, like, I think, oh, yeah, it's not, and it's not, it's not. But being an outsider, going into properties and that, going into households, uh, homes and that, it looks weird, especially when the guy is big as well. It just looks even stupider. I've gone into yards and there's this guy walking around who's six foot fucking five, still living at his mum's house. Now, he can't help how big he is. What I'm saying is, of that sort of size and stature, you'd think you'd be the king of your own castle. You know what I mean? There's a fucking massive human being walking around in this yard and he's still, like, he's not at the top of the food chain. It don't look right. It don't look right. Man walking around like a fucking security guard in his own house. You man are laughing, I swear. It don't look right. Because, you know, when you're living under your parents' roof, yeah, like, naturally you're supposed to look like a child kind of thing. So when you look like a grown-ass fucking man, you shouldn't still be living at your mum's yard. Yeah, I just, I, I, I've noticed that, like, I've been to a few yards and I'm like, yeah, this, this, this is a grown man. Like, I've been to yards and that 40-year-old man still living in his mum's yard. Like, this is a grown man. This is a big man. Like, I've been to yards before where, this is why I say, don't move with a woman. I've been to yards before where, you know, the son has to go back home and he's 40. So, prime example, yeah? I went to this black man's yard. He's Jamaican, but born here like me, yeah? So, I went to this black man's yard and obviously I get the tenants to show me around upstairs in the bedrooms and that, because obviously I know there's sockets there, but sometimes I can't see where they are, and okay, I can't get to that socket behind the wardrobe or the bed, but I want to know how many is in the room. So I get them to go upstairs and show me whether I can get to them or not is a different thing. So one man, this black man, the big man, 65 years old, he took me to one of the bedrooms upstairs, hey, no homo, <laughs> yeah? But anyway, he said, ah, oh, this is, um, uh, I think he said, this, this is my son's room. And he said something along the lines of, oh, I can't remember, because I need to give you the punchline, because then it's going to make sense. Um, I can't remember what he said. I, I think he said, this used to be my bedroom, but I had to give it to my son because it was too small for him to have his children around. So basically I clocked, oh, your son still lives at home and the kids come over. And then he said, yeah. And I said, well, hold on, what do you mean the room is too small for his kids to come over and see him? I said, oh, did the baby mum report him? And he said, yeah, the, the baby mum, imagine this is what the baby mum done, yeah? The baby mum is white, yeah? I'm just, just giving you context, yeah? The baby mum reported the baby dad and said, oh, the room is too small for the, um, for the, 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 the man, the dad to have for the kids to come over some bullshit like that. Like, like, imagine how malicious that is. You should be glad that the guy wants to still be in his kid's life. No, you're going to report him. So, do you know, what? maybe the story was, yeah. Maybe the son was kind of occupying the room a little bit, but he had his own place somewhere else. And the reason why he had to get his own place somewhere else is so that he could have his kids. And the reason why he couldn't have his kids over is because the baby mum reported that the room that he had at the dad's house was too small for him to occupy two children and that. 
Blood, this is craziness. But this, this is what happens when a woman loses attraction for you. She just wants to emasculate you. 